Hey beauties, okay, so today we're gonna do a first impression and a little chat with, uh, chat, not, we're not gonna chat with the palette, we're gonna chat with me, but we're gonna do a first impression of the Revolution, Makeup Revolution London uh, Forever Flawless We Are Love palette. I picked this up in one of my last hauls. It is, I believe, it was released like pretty recently, like in August, but it is a pride palette. So yeah, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's got a lot of really gorgeous shades, very pigmented, not a lot of glitters, which honestly the, the Makeup Revolution glitter pigments are not some of my favorite if I'm being honest. So I'm okay with that. But I'm thinking to really give it like the full like look. I didn't do a pride look this month. It just, it's, you know, 2020 has been a weird year. So I'm thinking we're gonna do a rainbow look today. And I'm gonna do, I've been really into the dual eyes, like two different colored eyes. I love it. I think it looks really good. Um, it's something I just kind of started testing out and every time I've done it, I've really enjoyed it. But so I'm thinking today we're gonna do a cool colored and a warm colored eye and we're gonna make like a halo effect with it. So for this eye, I'm thinking we're gonna do um, blue on the outer, this pretty like lavender color on the inner corner here. We're gonna blend it together with this green shade and then um, we're going to do the mint shade in the very center, which is the mint shade just has like a touch of glitter to it. Um, and I'm thinking we're gonna use the silver for a highlight on both eyes, but we'll see. Then for the other eye, for the warm eye, we're gonna do this red color on the outer corner. We're gonna do this yellow on the inner corner. We're gonna blend it with this orange and we're gonna do this really pretty soft pink shade in the center. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. I hope it's gonna look pretty cool or it's gonna look like trash. Whatever, we're gonna see. We're gonna learn how good the palette is today. That's why we're here. Really quickly, before we even jump into that, I did wanna just mention, I picked these up a good while ago in a, in a haul. It's the Essence Color Boost Mad About You Matte Liquid Lipstick. Uh, I got two, they were $1.49. I think they were on sale. They're like $1.99 normally, whatever. They're cheap, real cheap. I bought two, one's a really hot pink, like a magenta pink, and then this is kinda like an orangey color. I want to like them. I just don't. I just don't know how to be any nicer about it. I get why they're like a dollar fifty. It's like I literally applied it right before we sat down, and it's cracking. It's uneven. I've gone over. It dries down, but it dries down unevenly. Like maybe from afar, it doesn't look too bad. Because when I was standing in my bathroom mirror, I was like, maybe it's not awful. And then I sit in the light, and I'm just like, but it's not good. Like it's not my favorite so cheap yes yeah, so you're wasting that much money if you test them no but do i think they're that great a quality no but i did want to throw that out there i didn't do it on camera but just so you guys know how i'm feeling about this product i have used the pink as well same type issues that i've seen in it the pink has a little bit more coverage i think but it just cracks a lot so what are you gonna do Anyway, now that we've got a game plan, we've talked about the essence thing. I want to talk about what what the what my little my distraction talk because that's what I'm gonna start to calling calling them instead of me you just sitting here watching me quietly put on makeup. This is what I I'm going to talk about to distract myself while I do this. My distraction talk today is gonna be about my very unusual dreams that I've been having lately. It will require some backstory, so we'll get into that. But there's one in particular that I had Saturday. Uh, or Sunday, I don't remember, my dirty's blurred again. I think it was actually Sunday, it was Sunday. What day was the earthquake, Sunday? Yes, okay, it was Sunday. There was an earthquake too, spoiler alert. That, I mean, it's, it wasn't like traumatic or anything, but it was not for me at least. I mean, it was a lot of things. There's a lot of things coming at you today. Let's start with the colors. I think I'm gonna do blue side first, maybe, or I'm just gonna switch back and forth between. I'm gonna start with the blue, we'll see. You you guys know I always have, I, I have the best of intentions when I begin things and they just kind of go awry at some point. So we're starting with the blue side. We'll see how we go from there. So like I said, I'm going in, I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce most of these names. Uh, if you heard me talk about the palette when I unboxed it, I love it because it's the We Are Love palette and each of the titles of the shades are different, uh, is, is the word love in different languages. Beautiful idea, so cool. I can barely pronounce, pronounce, pronounce as, as, see. I can barely pronounce English words, so I'm not going to even attempt any of these. Besides, there's like three that I know that I'm just not gonna attempt any more than, than those. So we're just gonna call them what they are. So this is the blue shade, the, the royal blue shade. We're gonna go in with that as a start. So backstory, uh, I've mentioned in the past, but just to give you guys uh, some understanding, I work 
third shift. I work in the middle of the night. I normally go in about 11 o'clock in, in the evening. Depending on, I'm kind of, I kind of can determine my own time because it's just when I get my stuff done. Normally out by like 3.30 or four o'clock some days. Uh, I know throughout the week we're gonna just have more stuff because I'm a baker. So I know we're just gonna have more stuff that I have to make and things like that. So sometimes I'm there a little bit later. This morning I was there from like 11 p.m. to five because we had a really big catering order. So it just depends, but my days are pretty consistently, you know, they are what they are. They, it, I like it because I work alone and it's quiet. I can watch Netflix or Hulu and do my stuff. And yeah, it's great. It works for what it is. And you know, we gotta make that money somehow. So here we are. At least I don't have to, you know, deal with customers because that's that's I did it for a long time and it's 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 painful. It's I just it... anyway. Anyway, anybody who's worked in customer service understands what I am talking about. Not the point of this video. Anyway, for a while I was working five days a week. It worked. Also, this is just a, this blue applied very, very lovely. Um, I really am a big fan of actually what just happened there. So yes, so uh, liking it so far. I am gonna go on to the other side. Like I always do switch back and forth. I wanna do one eye and complete it and then do the other eye. I just can't do that. I'm just not. I can, I don't know why I can't do that, but that's just not how I can function. So we're gonna go in with the red color now. Yeah, so I work in the middle of the night. For a while I was working five days a week, consistently the same five days. It was Monday through Friday, and then I was off on Saturday and Sunday. I loved it, it was a good system. Then the weekend, Baker couldn't do Saturday and Sunday anymore, and so I wound up doing Tuesday through Saturday, and then the weekend, Baker decided to quit. So now I'm doing six days a week, and then some days, some weeks, our, my boss is doing the day that I'm off. So some some weeks I, I ask for, for two days off, please, because I'm just so exhausted. More or less, the, the point of this backstory is that when I switched to six days a week, my sleep cycle, which had been pretty consistent, basically Saturday would kind of be my recovery day or f like Friday night would be my recovery day. And then when I switched to Saturday, like Saturday night would be my recovery day. So I would like go to work that morning, I would come home, kind of sleep, or I would do stuff, like errands and stuff, and then I would probably go to bed pretty early just because I was still tired. But the next day, I would be able to stay up a little bit later and kind of enjoy my day and not have to be in bed by like, you know, nine o'clock like I normally am. Well, when I switched to six days, that totally was destroyed because what happened was uh, I went to work Tuesday through Saturday. I had Saturday night into Sunday off, and then I had to go back to work on Sunday night into Monday. Well, I couldn't, when that happened, I couldn't sleep at all Saturday night or Sunday, yeah, no, Sunday, Sunday day into Sunday night when I would have to go in. Normally I would go to bed at like six o'clock and give myself like four hours, I couldn't do that. Just stayed up, just wrote it out, stayed up, went to work, hadn't been to bed, exhausted. From that moment, my sleep cycle has been atrocious. Like just that moment, like a month ago, didn't, it, we're done, we're done. I don't sleep at all now. I just, I just, I, I know this isn't, to side note, I know this isn't where the, the end of the look is going, but right now I totally look like a clown. Like this is total like Bozo the Clown vibes for me. It's just, like the colors though, really pretty, very pigmented, applying really easily. I'm not, there's not a lot of fallout. Um, there's a little bit on the pan, but it's not really, like I don't really see it on my face, which is a pretty big deal in my opinion. So yeah, really liking what we're doing so far. Definitely getting some, um, some, some, you know, some clown, clownish vibes. Anywho, so sleep cycle ruined, literally, and when I say ruined, I mean really like I sleep in like two to three hour increments now, except for yesterday, for whatever reason, yesterday, this is one of my weekends I had two days off. I slept most of the weekend. I think I napped at least once on Saturday. I napped twice on Sunday and then Monday, which was the day I was gonna have to go back into work. So I was gonna have to go in at like 11. I literally slept from like 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. I was up all night Sunday night, like just woke up at three in the morning, couldn't go back to sleep because that's how my body works now. So I was up from like three to 8 a.m. And I uh, finally went to bed at 8 a.m. And then I thought like, oh, I slept till like 11. No, I slept till two, got up for an hour, ate something, went back to bed, woke up again at like 6.30 to eat dinner with my family. And then I went back to bed. So basically I was hibernating. Like I just would get up and like eat. And then, I don't know. I thought I was dying because I was really exhausted. Like I couldn't do anything. I like, couldn't even like, Nikki came into to the room at one point and was like, hey. And I was like, hey. And I was like, I should get up. 
but I can't and I just went back to sleep. It's awful, horrible. Yeah, so I don't know. I thought it was dying. I feel better today. So maybe I just like my body just auto crashed and was like, you gotta reset. Sorry, like, sorry, you gotta sleep at some point. A lot of chit chat, not a lot of makeup going on. Let's, let's get let's get back on track with the makeup. I'm going in now with, uh, we're gonna do, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do the purple shade on the inner corner of this eye and then we'll blend it together with that green shade and then we'll do our little halo effect and then we'll, yeah. Well, and then we'll go, we'll go, we'll just do it. We'll just do it. So yeah, so that's kind of how my sleep cycle is going on. I think that is important. It's a lot of backstory to understand what I'm about to tell you guys with my dreams. So I've always been a pretty vivid dreamer, but I, my dreams are weird. I think I've talked about this before on camera. I don't know. I, I, I talk a lot. So I can't remember always what I say, but basically when I dream, like I know who people are, but they don't necessarily look like who they're supposed to be. Like they're not like the real life person, but I know like I'll see Nikki and he'll be like a foot shorter and have like spiky hair and, uh, but I'll be, I, that's Nikki. Like it's, I know it's Nikki or like my mom who's blonde, I'll see her and she'll be like brunette. And I'll be like, that's my mom though. And it's my mom. It's not like somebody else it's, that's, but I it's just don't see them per like perfectly. So, and then I also dream in like clouds. Like it's, I don't know how to explain it other than like everything's like fuzzy. It's kind of like you're looking at it through like a, I don't know, through like underwater. That's kind of a good way to like, it's like, oh, that bleary, yeah. But it's clear to me, it's just how I remember it. Like in the purple too, really pretty little purple shade, very lavender. Um, I don't actually know another palette that I have that I have a color that I that is similar to this one. So I'm kind of really digging it. Pretty, I feel like it's applying a little bit sparsely right here and I don't know why. It applied nicely in the corner, but it's kind of building up. Like it's almost like every time I go and I put more on to try and cover this patch, it just goes directly into the corner of my eye. Uh, so it's making that really purple, but it's not making this really purple. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what is, is happening in my, uh, that's what it feels like is happening anyway. So that's how I dream. Let's go to Sunday morning. Vivid dreams, crazy vivid dreams. And I think it's partially be because I'm only sleeping in like, like I said, like two to three hour increments at a time normally. I don't remember where, I don't really study dreams or anything. I took one psychology class in high school, so I'm not great at psychology or dream study, but I find it interesting. But I, I remember reading something about, you know, when you sleep in smaller increments, like when you do only like two or three hours of sleep at a time, you go into dream mode faster because your body's trying to like basically get as much out of the little bit of sleep you're getting as possible. So I feel like that's partially what happens too, is like as soon as I fall asleep, I go straight into like hardcore dreams. Because of that, I feel like I'm also remembering them a little bit better. Saturday night into Sunday, same thing happened a Sunday night into Monday, I was up from like three to like, I, it was only up to like six in the morning, I think. I don't think I was quite up till eight. I definitely was able to fall back asleep, but I was exhausted. So I fall asleep and I start having this dream. And this dream, we live in this huge mansion. It's gorgeous, like old school. It had elements that reminded me of my parents' house, which is where we're currently living until our house is built. It was very much like an old, like I, like it had been built in like the early 1900s. And I knew that I was like, okay, there's a lot of history in this place, which personally, that is something I would not do because I very much believe in ghosts and demons and spirits that can be in a house. Call me crazy if you want, that's fine. You do not have to believe it, it is my personal belief. But because of that, it makes me very hesitant to move into an old house because there's just more of a chance for there to be bad energy in it. I gotta point out that I don't know what the hell is happening here. I guess it's because my eyes have the, like the little bit of the water effect that they always do naturally. But there's like a weird, like, it's like a purple, like, I, can you zoom in on my eye really quick? There's just like a, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It doesn't look right. There's like one, there's like a dark ring just in one particular area around my eye. It's weird. I like what's happening except for that. I don't know why that is going on. It's, I don't like it. It's not, not a fan. Anyway. All right, going in with the green shade as the blending shade now for our blue side. So we move into this old mansion. We have roommates. And when I say we, it's me and Nikki. Nikki and I move into this house. Uh, we have roommates. There are six of us total living there. I don't know who the roommates are. It's not like there are other people that we're like friends with or they're just people. They don't, they're not people that I know in my life or anything like that. But yeah, but they move in with us. And like, it's all, it's all kosher. We're all getting along. It's not, you know, there's no bad blood between us or whatever. But like, I can tell there's something not right with the house. Like I just, 
no. Also, just for like this year, I know I, I mentioned that people don't look alike. Nikki, who is, you know, over six foot tall and has currently very long brown hair, very long because of quarantine, like super long. Uh, he, in my dream, for some reason was like shorter than me. So he's like maybe five, five. He had like short, a little spiky hair. Like I don't, and his face was whole, all different, but it was Nikki, but it just was, that's how I saw him. So it was very interesting. So yes, so we move into this house. <laughs> Bad things, things start happening immediately. And I don't know what it is. It's just not right. Like I just am feeling, I'm feeling on edge all the time. I'm sensing things and it attacks it, this entity, whatever it is, a bad mojo in this house, begins attacking the roommates in, in pairs of two. So like Nikki and I are attacked in the same way, kind of. The two of the other roommates are attacked in the same way, kind of. It, it, that, it, and I'll explain, I'll go into it because I'm not making sense right now. The dream doesn't make sense in my mind, but that's why I'm talking through it because it was really, it was like one of the most vivid wild dreams I've had in a very long time. Okay, uh, really quickly before we go back to the story off camera, I did blend this out a little bit. It's looking pretty good. Um, finding it just a little bit challenging to get these all blended seamlessly, but not terrible. It doesn't look awful. It just, it also probably is because I'm using the green, which is a very light shade and that blue was so dark. That's probably why I'm having a little bit of issues. It doesn't look bad. I could like what's happening. It just, eh. this purple is really pissing me off though. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I can't fix that. I'm just gonna have to live with it. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. But anyway, I'm not mad at you guys. I'm not pointing angrily at you guys. I'm pointing angrily at the situation. So just know that. Okay, we're gonna do the orange on the other side as a blending shade. And I'm gonna continue talking about my weird dream. Yeah, so. Nikki doesn't look right, but I know who he is. We're getting attacked in pairs of two. And when I say we're getting attacked in pairs of two, I mean like two of our roommates are kidnapped. I don't know how else to explain it other than like they're kidnapped by whatever bad entity is in this house. Like one of them I kind of saw happening. By kind of, I mean like I saw this weird figure then the roommate was just like, it came and I, I saw it and then it, she kind of just was like, whisked away and then she was just gone and I didn't know what happened to her. I was like, what just happened? That was the first one. That's the first thing that happened. And then we all just continued to live. Like it wasn't like she went missing and we were like, let's put up posters. It was just like, she's just gone. We're just like, okay, whatever. Um, weird. I don't know why my brain did that, but it did. The second time it happened though, I saw it and I, I tried to be active in it, but that, that comes later. Tr I'm trying to keep it chronological, but I also don't remember fully everything that happened. This is just like the parts I remember. The other, the other two roommates, they were being like transformed and I, guess they were being transformed in like the sense that they were like being transformed to do the bidding of the house in like a physical way. I don't know if that makes sense, but like they were being transformed into like stereotypical horror, not stereotypical, like actual horror movie characters. Like they, like they were mimicking, like the, I don't remember the, the one, I wish I did what movie she was, but the one, I know for certain one of them was being turned into Chucky and it was weird because you would, you would, I would in my dream, I would see them and they would look like, like they would be wearing like, like for Chucky, she was wearing like the suspenders and she had like the scar from like after he goes bad the first time he has that scar under his eye. She had that, but then when you would, like if she would stand and look in the mirror, she looked normal. And if I stood next to her and looked at her in the mirror, she looked normal. And I was like, I, I can't process this. It was weird. I was trying to explain to her, I was like, you don't look normal. And she's like, I look fine. Like she'd stand in the mirror and be like, I look fine. And I'd be like, but you don't. Like I'm telling you, like I can see you and you, you're not looking okay. And everybody else in the house can see you and they see the same thing I do on the outside. And so like, we're trying to figure out what that is, what the hell that's about. The one girl's just missing. And then I'm having like horrible mood swings, like crazy. And now don't get me wrong. I, I hate to admit it, but I mean, I can call my flaws. I, there, I have moments where I get heated and irrational. I will like lose my lid. Normally at Nikki, poor Nikki, he's a saint. He deals with a lot, but I'll, I'll lose my, I'll pop my top. I'll be like crazy and irrational for a little bit. And then I'm like, I can calm down and step away from the situation and be like, I don't know why I did that, I'm sorry. I was doing this to everybody and like random people were, were witnessing me this. Like one of my coworkers was in the house watching it. My mom was there watching it. Um, my brother was there watching it. The 
a real estate agent working with the um, the new construction area that we're buying our house from. He was there witnessing it, wild. I don't know, but like this particular fight, the one that everybody was there to bear witness to, which was super fun for me. Um, Nikki, it was a Monday, I remember that. It was a Monday and Nikki was like, I'm gonna get Buffalo Wild Wings. For backstory, we a lot of times will get Buffalo Wild Wings on Tuesdays because they do buy one, get one free traditional wings. So he says this, he goes like, I'm gonna get Buffalo Wild Wings. Do you want anything? And I was like, why would you get it on a Monday? It's not on sale. And then I just lost my shit on him. Like just was going, and I knew my emotions were my own. I knew it was called like the house was causing me to, to react this way, like a psychopath, but I couldn't stop it, which was even worse. So I was just like losing it and whoo, God, throwing more stuff. It's not a video till I throw things. I already threw one thing though, so I guess it was already a video, but here we are. So I'm like losing my shit, screaming at everybody. Everybody's watching me have this meltdown and they're kind of like, what the hell is happening? And then I'm trying to explain to them, like I can't stop myself and I don't know why I have this irrational anger, but I know it's not me, it's the house causing it. And they're just like, or you're just crazy. <laughs> like, or we should just be looking for some sort of an institute to put you in. Which, you know, in fairness, if I had been the one witnessing my reaction to the whole situation, I probably would have also been like, we should put this girl into a home because she's not okay. But yeah, so this is happening. And then this is where it starts to get really good. So then the second girl gets kidnapped. This time I witnessed that. And I know like nobody's listening to me. I'm gonna go in with concealer now and do to get ready for the halo effect. Everybody, like I'm the only one who's really like, I, and I'm seeing shadows like, I mean, I've got all the, the bad things happening in the house. Like, just think about like, you know, uh, Hill House, you know, the, uh, what is it? The Haunting of Hill House, which was great. If you haven't watched it on Netflix, highly recommend. I think season two is about to come out or they're filming it, one of the two. I don't know, great show. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, uh, that kind of like, this is the kind of stuff that they were dealing with. You'd see shadows, you'd hear voices type things. You knew things were not, things were awry. That's what I was, I was experiencing that. Everybody else is like, are you experiencing it though? And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm experiencing it. And they're like, but are you? And I was like, oh my God, how am I the only one experiencing this? So yeah, and I said it affected us in pairs of two. Nikki really didn't change throughout the whole thing. He just was Nikki, like, which is, you know, he's just always Nikki. He just doing his Nikki thing. So <laughs> just dealing with me being like angry for no reason. He's just like, you good? And I'm like, I'm not good. I'm telling you, I'm not good. And, and which is weird because normally like Nikki also believes so he would definitely, if I were like, this house is haunted, he would be like, all right, we're gonna leave. But I, he just wasn't. He was like, no, I don't think you're right on this one. And I was like, really? Have I been wrong before about this kind of stuff? Just like, I'm not, I don't, if I pick up on it, I'm not a psychic or a medium, but if I'm a sensitive and if I pick up on it, it's normally pretty damn strong. So we probably should get the hell out. And he's just like, no, nah, not this time. I was like, dream Nikki, what the F? So yeah, so finally, Experiencing all this stuff, feeling all these emotions, trying to relay how I feel about it to other people. And now what I don't get is that like, as much as people didn't want to believe me, the two roommates who were physically changing, they could see and they could see the mirror thing, but they were just kind of like, that's not that big of a deal. To me, it was a huge deal. Everybody else was like, not that big of a deal. It's like, fine, it's not that big of a deal. You're right, I'm crazy. So finally, I'm literally standing in the one girl's bedroom, the one who was turning into Chucky. We're looking at her in the mirror. I'm like, dude, do you see this? Like, and she's like, I see myself. And I was like, okay, but I don't know how to explain to you that I, when I see you, I see Chucky. And so we're having this conversation. And then one of our other roommates is in the hallway. And I literally watched these two figures with like plague masks, but like leather plague masks, like BDSM type plague masks. I'm sorry, I don't know why my brain is like this, but it is. They just pop up out of nowhere and they just like grab this girl and start dragging her and she just goes willingly with them. Like she's not fighting, she's just kind of like, yeah, here I go. And they're fast, man, like they're, they're, they're hoofing it. But I was like, no, not this time. So I follow them. I follow them down the stairs into the living room. There's a whole bunch of people, like all the people who were in the other part where they watched me freak out, plus more. It was like a party, it was a whole party downstairs. This girl just gets pulled under the couch and everybody's sitting there. There are people sitting on the couch as she gets pulled down. And I'm like, is nobody gonna stop it? Like she just is gone. And everybody's just like, what? What do you mean, what? Okay, let's talk about what's going on with the eyes as we pause. We did to stop the camera and I touched everything up after this, we'll get ready to do the glitter shades, but just as a slight deterrence before we go back to my crazy ass dream. This eye, I'm really liking. This eye, I'm not. And I think it's partially because one, I just used really 
like drastically different colors for the blending and stuff. I, th I think I just went with a shade that was too light to blend. And so it's just not looking as smooth as I would like it to. And then this purple really has just uh, completely annoyed me. The yellow didn't lay down great, but I guess because it's so light, I can't really see like a difference between like where my water line is and where it's probably leaked in. This purple is just like has a, a little ring and I just, it, doesn't look, it doesn't look right. But I actually really like what's happening on this side. This is like a nice, this is giving me like, um, like heat miser vibes, you know, like I'm Mr. Heat Miser. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, a. <laughs> A. Anyway, back to the drink. So this girl just gets like pulled into the abyss under the couch and I'm like, get off the, like people are sitting out. I'm like, get off the couch. We're gonna move it. We move the couch. Nothing's there. There's no hole, there's no pit to hell. There's not, she's just gone. She's gone. And everybody else is just like, you know what, do be like that. And I'm like, but it shouldn't be like, no. So finally I have had enough. I'm like, that's it. Me in my unexperienced, not at all qualified self. I said, I'm gonna take care of this. So I just throw up my hands and I start calling on God and I'm like, God, I need your help to get these demons out of the house. And it's dramatic. It is like, like I'm like from my core summoning God to help me remove these damn demons from the house because I'm done with it. And all of these shadows start coming out of the walls and just swirling around me. And I'm like, I'm about to get my ass kicked by some demons. And I was like, God, just keep me strong enough to get these little bitches out. And I'm really, I'm ready for like, I'm ready to be like the priest and the exorcist, man. I'm like, here it comes, I'm about to die. But you know what, if that's what it takes, I'm done with this. So, so yeah, so that starts, that starts going down. And I'm really like, I'm going into it. These, these shadow things are swirling around me and it's going crazy and I'm like, oh my God. But they are not hurting me so shockingly. And I'm like, wow, all right, thanks God. Like I was ready to, like I, even in your name, I was ready to get my ass kicked, but you, you out here really doing it for me. So yeah, so the demons are swirling and everything and the house is shaking and then, this is where it gets real fun. And then I wake up and I sit straight up because our house is shaking. And Nikki sits straight up because the house is sh shaking. The dog is dead asleep. The dog did not care at all. I was never, I just was like, okay, all right. Yep, you keep sleeping, you're fine. But um, but we sit straight up and I look at Nikki and I said, was that an earthquake? Because I didn't know what else it could be. And he was like, I don't know. So he starts Googling to try and see. I'm really shaken up by it because I've never actually experienced an earthquake before. It was very small, it wasn't bad, and it only lasted for a second. But it still was really scary, so I wound up actually getting up and going downstairs and being like, hey, mom and dad, did you just like feel the whole shake? And they were they both had been woken up by it too, so they were like, okay, so you felt that too. And I was like, well, shit. So yeah, it turns out there actually was an earthquake where we were, um, I think it shook actually most of the East Coast, but it was on the fault line of uh, North Carolina and Virginia. And I mean, we're a good while away from that. So we only felt like just kind of the little bit of the aftermath of it but it still was very unsettling. I know I know North Carolina gets tons of earthquakes a year. It's not like anything dramatic that happened. It's just the first time I've ever felt it. So to, to feel it and, <laughs> and for it to come at that moment and wake me up out of that particular dream really did a number on me. My I was like unsettled the rest of the day. I was like, what's going on? What's going on in my brain though? Um, so yeah, so that was um, that was my weird dream. I had another weird dream the day after, no, same day. Was that Sunday too? It was Sunday. God, Sunday was not a good day for me dreaming. Cause I took a nap obviously cause I'd been up all night and then I was woken up way before I wanted to by the the earthquake, the little, you know, tremors of the earthquake that, that happened a while away. I took a nap later in the day in that dream, that was a weird one too. And there's like, there's a lot of backstory to that too. But the only interesting part was like at the end, I was like in a river, a river. I was in a river and there were huge ass waves. So make that make sense. Uh, but yeah, so I'm like in a river and it like literally is a river like on this, in between like two giant mountains. I was like these huge waves kept coming and I could feel it. Like I've never felt like the sensation of like drowning before. Well, I, I did, but I was really little. I don't remember it. The, it was like that. And I could feel like the waves like crushing me and like taking me down. It was awful. It was horrible. It was horrible. That happened for like a good couple minutes too. And I was just like, in fact, I woke myself up and Nikki was like sitting next to me watching TikTok in bed. And I was just like, I gotta tell you about this dream. And I was like incoherently trying to explain it to him. And he's like, and then I fell back asleep and told part of the dream in my dream. 
And I was like, did I tell you this part? And he's like, no. And I was like, oh, I dreamt that. Okay, here's what happened. It was, it was wild. Anyway, so what I'm saying is um, I'm not okay. Send help. I don't know what I need, but I, I don't know. Therapy, a priest, both. But yeah, those, that was my, those were my dreams on Sunday. Very weird. Then I literally slept for like, I guess be what you would classify as like 11 hours, not consistently, but like I was awake for a little bit in between each. But yeah, like, okay. I just have to say really quickly, I added the silver. Silver is a banging color. Do you guys see that? Amazing, love it. And it covered up that little purple issue that I had and uh, I'm, I'm liking it a lot more now because of that. So yes, so thank you purple. But I am, as I'm looking at the palette, I just realized we've got this really cool silver shade. We've got a really cool gold shade down at the bottom too. And I'm thinking for the warm side, like we'll do silver for the cool side and then we'll do gold for the warm side. I think that will be like a cool, way to use the different colors that I, one that I'm given. I don't like gold as much. Gold's not working as well for me. Gold's got a bad texture to it. I don't know how to explain it. That silver was way better. I mean, it's okay. It's doing its job. I just don't like it as much. You know, what are you gonna do? Silver really saved the day with that one little area. So that's why maybe I'm just like, oh God, silver, you came in for me, bud. The gold's not bad though. It's not bad. All right, y'all. I think all that's left is I'm gonna do some mascara off camera and then we're gonna see how this little puppy turned out. Really like this side. This side kind of looks cracked, but what are you gonna do? So, all right, let's do, let's do some mascara and see how it turned out. All right, this is the final look. I gotta be honest, I really feel like it kind of came together. There was definitely some moments where I was like, I don't know. I don't think, <laughs> I would not normally do this just for like day-to-day -day stuff, but I think it did kind of create like a nice little pride look. Um, and this eye, the silver really saved it. The mascara helped as well. I feel like either eye, if I had done like, like if, I, if this eye were on both eyes, if this eye, definitely if this eye were on both eyes, I would like it a lot. I don't dislike it now. I just think like it, it definitely has like a niche time to do it. Not that you can't do it whenever, it's just that's for me, it would be like a niche. Like if I were going to like a pride parade or for like doing something to celebrate it, I really feel like that would be like the best time for me to do it. But I don't dislike it. Decent little palette. It definitely gives you a lot to work with. The matte shades really are gorgeous. That silver shade, top notch. Um, yeah, I'm, I think for $15, I think it's a good little buy. It's once again, it is the forever, uh, flawless We Are Love palette from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. Those are the shades that we're using. Um, yeah, I think it's worth it. 15 bucks, pretty good. One of the better Makeup Revolution ones I've, I've reviewed recently. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, uh, sorry if I scared you with my weird dreams. They scare me too. Other than that, I hope you guys, oh wait, 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 wait. Don't leave yet. If you like us, subscribe. That'd be great. We'd love for you to join the Dark Angel family. I talk about uh, my weird brain a lot. So yeah, the notification bell, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, now I'm done. I hope you guys have a great day and you stay early with the dark twist.